In this video today, I want to show you how to find missing angle measures using simple equations. Let's start with this triangle here. All triangles have three angles, so let's look at those first. Looking at this angle here on the left, you can see that it is 20 degrees. Moving up to the top angle, you see it is 4y degrees, and the third angle is y minus 10 degrees. So our job here is to figure out the precise number of degrees 4y and y minus 10 actually are. We can use simple equations and the triangle sum theorem to find these two missing angle measures. The triangle sum theorem states that the three angles inside of any triangle will always add up to 180 degrees. So this gives us the equation that we will use to find those two missing angles. So first, I want to rewrite the equation to remove the degree symbols. You don't have to do this, but I do it because it just cleans it up a little. Now I'm ready to start solving. The first step is to combine like terms. I see that positive 20 and negative 10 are like terms, so let's combine those first. Positive 20 plus negative 10 equals positive 10. Looking back at the equation, I see two more like terms, positive 4y and positive y. And positive 4y plus positive y equals positive 5y, and I'll bring down the equals 180. Now I can solve for y. The first thing I want to do here is to remove the positive 10 from the left side of this equation by subtracting 10. And to keep the equation balanced, I need to subtract 10 on the right side as well. Looking back at the left side, Positive 10 and negative 10 create a zero pair, so they just cancel each other out, leaving just the 5y. Moving to the right side, 180 minus 10 is 170. Now, to solve for y, I need to divide each side of this equation by 5. The 5s cancel each other out, leaving just the y, and 170 divided by 5 is 34. So now, I know that y is precisely 34 degrees. Now that I know that y is 34 degrees, I'm ready to substitute that value of 34 in place of y for the two expressions that were given for the missing angle measures. I'll start with the top angle. This expression is 4y, and I'll substitute the 34 for y to get 4 times 34, which equals 136. So this top angle is 136 degrees. The expression for this last angle is y minus 10. Substituting the 34 in place of y, we have 34 minus 10, which equals 24. So this last angle is precisely 24 degrees. The last step here is to check our angles. Remember, the triangle sum theorem tells us that the three angles of this triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So let's add them together to check. 20 plus 136 is 156, and 156 plus 24 is 180, and we have found our missing angle measures. I hope this video is helping you. If so, let other people know it by giving it a like and a subscribe. Now this triangle is missing the precise measurements for all three of its angles, but we can use the triangle sum theorem again to find all three. Remember, this theorem tells us that all three angles added together must equal 180 degrees. So starting at the lower left angle, we'll add 2x and then x plus 30 and then x to equal 180. Now we need to combine the like terms of 2x, x, and x, which when combined or added together equals 4x. And I'll bring down the rest of the equation. Now I need to isolate the 4x on the left side by subtracting 30. And to keep the equation balanced, I need to subtract 30 on the right side as well. The positive 30 and the negative 30 make a zero pair, so they cancel each other out, isolating the 4x on the left side. And on the right side, 180 minus 30 is 150. Now I can solve for x by dividing each side of this equation by 4. The 4s on the left side will cancel each other out, leaving just the x, and 150 divided by 4 is 37.5. So 
so the value of x is precisely 37.5 degrees. The last step here is to substitute this 37.5 into each of these three expressions. I'll start with 2x. Using substitution, I have 2 times 37.5, which equals 75, or 75 degrees. For the top angle, the expression after using substitution is 37.5 plus 30, and that equals 67.5 degrees. And this last angle is just the value of x, or 37.5 degrees. And again, we need to check our angles by adding them together, making sure their sum is 180. And whichever method you choose to add them together, you see that their sum is 180 degrees. And there you have it. Finding missing angles in triangles can be easily solved using the triangle sum theorem and simple equations. I hope this video helped you out. Be sure to watch these videos next where you can continue to explore, learn, and excel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.